smoking sons of guns out there and welcome to the smoke report where fall is in the air i'm your host jay todd coming to you this week with stories from the world health organization you're going to love what they had to say and a follow-up on our college campus story from about a month ago but let's start off in alexandria louisiana that hotbed of forward thinking where city council members there have unanimously banned smoking in city bars. Damn the slippery slope, damn smokers' rights, and damn the freedom of bar owners to set their own policy and the privacy of their own establishments. But you gotta cut the councilman a break. After all, they had a full agenda to work through this month, what with Mrs. Smith's mule kicking over that fence, and then the blinking yeller traffic light done burn out. The good folk of Alexandria will still be allowed to smoke in rooms at local hotels and motels. So business at the local brothel should go on uninterrupted. And in Indiana, a judge has refused to grant an injunction that would stop a local smoking ban. In this case, I understand the judge's ruling because he stated that the request for an injunction should have come well before the ban went into effect back on August 11th. What's interesting about this ban is that it attempts to prohibit smoking not just in taverns, but in fraternal organizations. Think about this, my friends. Your government sticking its nose into private organizations where members voluntarily join, who are assembled peacefully and breaking no laws, and here comes Big Brother into their private meeting halls to legislate their behavior. What the hell is next? Even if you are not a smoker, the president this sets should scare the holy crap out of you. We'll be back in a minute. to have reviews of products and I did have an interview lined up for our last program to talk about an e-cigarette but that fell through so we've been working with other youtubers to get some reviews for our upcoming videos until we do I will be happy to give you some thoughts on the products I use like this wonderful Dutch cigar which I have killed that'll be starting next week for now I was wondering if you guys remember that piece I reported on a few weeks ago about smoking bans on college campuses. If so, an article this week may explain why universities feel such bans are needed as cigarette use among college students is on the rise. So I say, ban smoking at every institute for higher education in this country. Yep, ban it all. After all, these young men and women are learning skills they will use for the rest of their lives. What better time to realize that the land of the free doesn't ensure personal freedoms and that the pursuit of happiness will always take a backseat to the political flavor of the day. But the best story of this week comes from the Director General of the World Health Organization, Margaret Chan. She actually had the balls to say the smoking industry uses quote dirty tricks to trump what is in the public's best interest <clears throat> all right first of all 
Thank you, Ms. Chan, for being such an incredible person that you actually know what's in my best interest. Second, if you want to talk about dirty tricks, let's talk about the anti-smoking groups out there who run disgusting advertisements, some involving children, while smokers here in the good old U.S. of A. have been all but silenced and neutered, forced out of society like lepers, then told that wasn't even good enough, while more and more bans erode even more and more of our basic personal freedoms. Dirty tricks? Kiss my dirty butt! Smokers, join us online. Subscribe and friend us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. If we're going to help make a difference, we need all the support we can get. See you in two weeks. You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be